In this video, we'll learn how to find the value of a function given a specific value of x. So, in the first example, given f of x equals, let's say, 2x plus 3, find f of 0. So we have to find the value of the function f whenever x is equal to 0. Well, this is very easy because you'll just have to substitute the number 0 for every x in the given function. So our solution would be f of 0 equals uh, 2 times 0 because this is the, the function 2x plus 3 plus 3. So just substituting 0 for x, you'll get 0 plus 3. So f of 0 is equal to 3. There you have it. Another example given, let's use g of x equals, let's take x squared minus 2. Find the value of function g whenever x is, let's get uh, negative 2. Okay? So substituting negative 2 for every x in the function g, so it's g of, use another color, g of negative 2 is equal to, our, our function is x squared minus 2, so substituting negative 2 for x, negative 2 squared minus 2, that's going to give us 4 minus 2, okay, negative 2 squared is 4 minus 2, we have g of negative 2 equals positive 2. Another example, given a rational function, let's take capital F of x equals x plus 1 over x minus 2, find, let's get, let's have f of 1 half, okay? So substituting 1 half for every x in the capital F function, so f of 1 half is equal to substituting x. Uh, 1 half for x, that's 1 half plus 1 over 1 half minus 2. Okay, what is 1 half plus 1? 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves. And what is 1 half minus 2? 1 half minus 2 is negative 3 halves. Now what is, what is negative 3 halves or 3 halves divided by the negative of 3 halves, we get a negative 1. So f of 1 half is negative 1. This is our correct answer. We can also find the value of a function given an arbitrary value for x, arbitrary number for x. So say, given um, Let's use f of x equals square root of x minus 1. Find the value of f at, uh, let's have x squared minus 1 here, at a plus 1. Okay. Now it's the same thing to find the value of f at a plus 1, an arbitrary value. Um, we just have to substitute a plus 1 for every x in the function. So f of a plus 1 is equal to the square root of substituting a plus 1 for x. So that's a plus 1 squared. So from here, substitute a plus 1 and then minus 1. So that's x. The function is x squared minus 1. And substituting a plus 1 for x, we now have a plus 1 squared minus 1. And we have to simplify our function, of course. That's the square root of <coughs> um, expanding a plus 1 quantity squared. So expansion would be a squared plus 2a plus 1. And then minus 1. This is minus 1. It will not be eliminated in the expression. Okay, now simplifying further, that's going to give us square root of a squared plus 2a. Now combi combining the constants, 1 minus 1 is 0. So we simply have 
so plus 0 or that is just square root of a squared plus 2a in simplified form and that is f of a plus 1. May I request that you please um, review on the simplification of um, algebraic expressions such as this binomial this binomial how to expand that in a very simple way using some patterns or formulas next example given f of x i'll take a very simple one uh, 3x minus 1 for letter a let's find um, f of let's just have an arbitrary constant x plus h okay x f of x plus h so f of x plus h is equal to we simply have to substitute x plus h for every x in the function so that's 3 times the quantity x plus h minus 1 simplifying our answers by distributing 3 inside the parentheses we'll have 3x plus 3h minus 1. That's it. That's the answer. This is f of x plus h. Now a follow-up question. Why, uh, we have to find f of x minus f of x plus h. Okay? Let's have this. So f of x minus f of x plus h f of x is simply our function remember that this is f of x okay so f of x we just have to copy that's 3x minus 1 and then minus f of x plus h so f of x plus h can be obtained by substituting x plus h in our function f but we already have the answer over here okay so that's uh, 3 times x plus h minus 1. This is still our function f, but then we change x to x plus h. So that's a 3x minus 1. Okay, again, this is this part is f of x. And then this part is f of x plus h. Okay, so that we're clear. And then simplifying f of x plus h by distributing Three inside the parentheses. That's a three x plus three h minus one. Okay, this is a minus sign. Take note. This, this is a minus sign, so we'll have to change the sign of this. So simplifying further, that's going to be three x minus one minus three x minus three h minus one. And then combining like terms, combining like terms, 3x minus 3x is 0. Okay. And then combining the constants, negative 1 and negative 1, you'll get negative 2 if you add them. So the answer would be 3h. This is 3h minus 2. Okay. So this is f of x minus f of x plus h. Alright. Very easy.